Hey guys, Nick here, and I got some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Domination on Storm using the Mini Uzi, which is a weapon that's not that popular because it's not really that great. Um, but it is kind of fun to use when you're really close to somebody because it can actually kill them. Although, a lot of times, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not really the best weapon to use. Anyways, if you play Storm right, you can do very well with close range weapons. Um, but a very important thing to do, obviously, is to capture B. Uh, Storm's a pretty balanced map, but you have a huge advantage if you manage to capture B and hold the inside building. Um, if you can hold the inside building, you can just kill people who are trying to get in, and you can force close range battles that you might actually be able to win with the Mini Uzi, um, depending on whether or not <laughs> the other people have any idea uh, how to shoot. The trick to using any weapon that isn't necessarily good um, is to play to its strengths and avoid its weaknesses. Obviously, the Mini Uzi's strength is going to be really close range and its weakness is going to be anything more than 10 feet away from you. So you want to avoid um, trying to shoot anybody who's more than 10 feet away. Like, if you see them and you don't think you can kill them, don't waste your bullets, don't waste your time. <laughs> Just uh, go somewhere else or try to get close to them without them seeing you or being able to shoot you. Um, you know, you, you, you gotta play to the gun strengths and uh, distance is definitely not a strength of the Mini Uzi and that's probably its biggest weakness. Um, it's actually very similar to the P90 in, in uh, that its damage and fire rate are very similar. I think it shoots a little bit faster but has a little bit more recoil and has a smaller clip which isn't quite as good. So the, P, the P90 really is just a better weapon, like you've got pretty much the same damage, uh, very similar fire rate. Um, it's got less recoil and a larger clip and gives you more ammo. So the P90 pretty much is the better version of the Mini Uzi. Uh, I wouldn't really go and use the Mini Uzi ever, which is why you don't see it used very often. But uh, as you can see, you can actually get kills with, with this gun. Um, I was a little skeptical at first. I, I thought it just like shot um, peas or something, but no, it does have bullets in it. And um, if you hit people <laughs> enough times, they will die. So. Uh, it's not a terrible gun, um, it, it, it is useful at a close range, like I can kill people if they're at a close range, sometimes at a medium distance, and if they stand still and don't move, I can kill them at a long distance, but uh, if they're like running around or if they're trying to shoot you at a distance, you're probably not going to be able to kill them with the Mini Uzi. Um, also another thing to note is that I am using the silencer on it, which is probably the best attachment since its recoil is fairly high, you're not going to be shooting anybody at that much of a distance, so you don't really, um, you shouldn't really care if you have a reduced range due to the silencer because, you know, you're not going to be shooting people at a distance anyways. And when you're using a weapon like the Mini Uzi where you're forced to get close to people, you want to have that silencer so you don't show up on the mini-map. Um, if you're really close to people, you want to be able to kill a couple guys and have a chance to reload without the entire enemy team knowing where you are, because that would be kind of bad. Um, you know, when you're at a long range and you can kind of pick a few people off and then you can hide behind cover and reload before anybody could possibly get close enough to kill you, um, that's just fine. So if you're using something like the ACR or a sniper, then it doesn't really matter if you have like a silenced weapon. Please don't use silenced snipers, that's a really bad idea. But um, yeah, if you're close to people, a silencer is very beneficial because um, you're close and if I was showing up on the minimap right here, a whole bunch of people would know I was there and I uh, wouldn't have that good of a chance of killing people and getting that tactical nuke there. And uh, I believe I actually don't call it in right away. Um, I, I kill a few people and then I fail a few times because uh, I, I make the mistake of thinking that the mini Uzi is good and uh, I try and win some gunfights that I probably shouldn't have entered. Um, you know, you really have to be conscious uh, when you're using a weapon like the mini Uzi that your weapon is probably worse than the weapon that they are using. <laughs> so you got to make sure that you have a bigger advantage than them, that you start shooting first and that you kill them before they start shooting at you because honestly, Mini Uzi is not that great. Um, right here, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not really something you want to be using at a distance and um, I find for its fire rate its clip is a little small but uh, as I just killed that guy there that was fairly easy because he was really close and uh, the silencer makes it so that nobody knows I'm there except for that guy and since this isn't Modern Warfare 3 he won't spawn five feet behind me so I am all good and will not die.
Anyways, this was the mini Uzi in my little series I've been doing where I've been getting nukes with the uncommonly used weapons. Um, so check out my other videos on this, and if you want to request the next weapon that I use, you can post a comment. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please like it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.